So about a week ago, I uploaded a new um, thing I created, which was a switch grip. And uh, this is my new one, but the old one looked like this. It was a little clunky, and uh, as many of you told me, it wasn't really ergonomic. And it was kind of badly designed. So the new one fixed all the issues that the old one had. Like, um, for example... The Xbox controller is made so that your thumbs will rest on the joysticks uh, without you having to stretch or like, or come back a little. And that's what I fixed with the new one. The old one whoops, had the problem of this thumb reaching too far. Uh, this one was decent, but then it was also a little bit too far. So the new one uh, is perfect. It rests perfectly on the joysticks and every button's easy to press. The lower one uh, couldn't really do much about them, but the main things and buttons you use are easily accessible, which is what I meant to solve in the first place. Um, the new back piece is newly designed. The old one, uh, people told me how covering the grills for the intake wasn't really a good idea, so I changed it so that now it comes out to the outside. And the reason why it protrudes a little on the bottom is that so it can freestand uh, without you having to like hold it. Uh, so, but this is just for like resting it, and it's not that necessary. So, the new thing uh, fixes the ergonomic issues, and uh, of course, just like the previous model, if you snap this piece off. Uh, and last time, people uh, were complaining about. It, this might scratch the switch itself, so now the new one, if you print it properly, it should be smooth and flat, so you shouldn't have to worry about scratching. So these pieces just come off, like actual switch rails. Uh, okay, that switch will just stay there. And I wanted to connect these two controllers. So there's another rail piece. This one will just slide on first and then like that and now it feels like a proper ergonomic controller just like the xbox itself um this one has as i tried to make it as close as possible with the xbox design obviously i can't do that with the odd shape of the switch itself but it works pretty nicely and i think i made it pretty decent um, so for sliding in the Joy-Cons, I cut out this little piece here, space for the Joy-Con uh, joy triggers. Uh, there was a problem that uh, some of you had with the design that I couldn't necessarily fix. And that was the fact that this might actually uh, lose battery faster than if it was just like no not connected to it. Uh, I can't really fix that problem with the resources I have, but this is as good as I can get. Um, this is like the best I can do as in like how clean it is. And uh, I'll show you a little demo on how, how nice this controller is to use. Okay, so clearly I'm not the best player, but you can just, I was just trying to demonstrate how uh, this controller works. And obviously you could detach that. Slide it back on the rails. Attach the back piece. The back piece is so that these won't slide out without uh, 
because I don't have that mechanism, the spring-loaded mechanism that keeps it in there. I guess kind of hard to see for you guys, but... You guys complained about uh, my wrist because the previous model was more like, or how was it? It was like that, I think. This one kind of fixes that issue. It's more uh, straight than before. So yeah. So this is my modular switch grip design. Uh, there's four pieces to it. I'll put the link in the comments or the description if you're on YouTube. So um, this took me a while to make and I hope you guys enjoy it.